Soft robotics is a new area in robotics that uses material science, chemistry and advanced fabrication approaches to enable better uh, performance uh, in hardware for robotics. Our group has been working for a few years already in this area and uh, this is a very multidisciplinary area, very interesting, uh, again, for the variety of, of topics that uh, are involved. The specific example that we're going to show you today in the lab is how we apply these technologies to underwater robots. You're going to be looking at some of our uh, soft batoids. These are robots that mimic the, the way stingrays swim underwater. Because we uh, tailor our own materials and our advanced fabrication, we can add very interesting functionalities. We can control the, the motion of the fins, and this allows us to control the underwater performance in terms of thrust, velocity, etc. We can also embed sensors, uh, batteries. This area is also very uh, relevant to our undergraduate education because, uh, again, this being such a multidisciplinary area is a good example to give students to showcase uh, new ways of designing, new, new uh, approaches or applications to advanced fabrication. So we have used this project in one of our courses in 3007 in the past. Uh, as the main theme of the, of the, of the project and also uh, as a way to give examples of advanced fabrication. Uh, SOL is one of the robotic clubs in SUTD. We have so many collaborations across the SUTD community. So one of the collaborations that we have is with the EPD Pillar, where we created an autonomous barista called Jessica. So Jessica removes the manual operation of the users, where actually it helps to put the capsule into the coffee machine and retrieve the cup when the coffee is ready. Prior to joining SUT and so, I actually had zero programming knowledge or actually background knowledge on robotics. And it's only due to doing projects such as Jessica that I was able to know how to do things like path planning and electronics and circuit design. Jessica actually gave me the chance to, to learn about such things. Through the use of 3D modeling software, we actually designed certain parts of this robotic arm, such as the gripper, and 3D printed them out in-house. Moving forward, we would like to attach uh, sensors onto the human such that the robot can mimic human arm movement. 